going on guys? I'm on my way. Um, leaving the Augusta area of Georgia. Headed to uh, Leesburg, Alabama for ACC uh, for the next few days. I'll be there today's Thursday. Be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, looking forward to it. Hope I have everything packed. We got a couple trucks in here. Bunch of camera stuff, computer to edit. Got a couple trucks in the bed as well. Um, hoping I didn't forget anything. Hopefully the weather plays nice. And uh, most importantly, I hope we have fun. But I suspect that we will. But uh, I will see you guys when I get there and um, get all set up. What's going on guys? Um, we made it to Alabama, it's Friday morning. Got a little bit of a late start. Um, just uh, super tired, I was up late, working a little bit on the comp truck, switched out some springs, and uh, did some ESC adjustments, and then I edited a video, so. Um, and also tuned into some live streams, but um, just took me a little bit to get settled, charged my batteries, um, I think we're ready to go. Uh, just hit up Walmart and uh picked up some ponchos because it's supposed to rain pretty much all weekend uh some balloons mostly to put my radio inside one of those if i need to i might just go ahead and do that this morning once i get up there um and then uh yeah i got some drinking water but i am gonna hit you guys with the time lapse um if you've never been to you know this part of alabama it's probably not you know what you would think of when you think of Alabama so show you a little bit of the scenery um, it's actually a pretty cool drive from where I'm at it's about a 40 minute drive to the um, Cherokee Rock Village so um, yeah just uh, gonna get up there um, we'll get checked in hopefully there's no issues my wife bought my ticket for me so hopefully no problems getting checked in um, and I'll probably just do go through tech this morning and get the truck out um, practice a little bit with it but I think we're probably gonna have to run some courses today because like I said it's supposed to rain so I think when the weather's good I'm just gonna have to kind of you know strike when the getting's good and um, you know run the courses when I have an opportunity and it's not pouring so hopefully the weather holds off and the you know all the weather apps are wrong but we'll see uh, Sunday looks like it's gonna be awesome so hopefully we can get some good trailing in hopefully it's not too muddy um, it's gonna be a real bummer if it is but I'll see you guys up there So we made it up here, um, pretty nice drive in. You go through some really rural areas, but then kind of hit the mountain roads. And um, I just didn't really expect, you know, Alabama to have uh, terrain like this. So, but I'd been up here once before about six months ago. Um, so I just tried to check in. They won't let me check in until I do my tech. Um, so already uh, feel like a noob, but no big deal. Um, I don't get embarrassed too easily, at least not, um, outwardly embarrassed internal embarrassment a little bit but uh we're just gonna run through my tech sheet and uh i know what's on my truck obviously i you know built it so not too worried about it um so for the first thing i'll pull this up and let you guys look at it um you guys can kind of see you know what the tech sheet looks like and um you know where I break out I'm pretty sure I'm at about 35 points or so as long as they didn't change anything so this first category I got I have a metal roof rack as far as metal features um, and then I think that is honestly it for oh and I also have sliders so minus five for section one uh, I've got front and rear uh, metal bumpers and I front bumper I'm pretty sure that qualifies as a stinger <laughs> I guess I'll find out minus seven 
We have a chassis mounted servo and a functioning transfer case. The uh, VFD, I believe, gets credit for a functioning transfer case. Um, interior, I get a two seat interior cover. So there's minus two and that's it. And then, okay, now we're on to scale points. Um, I should be at minus 12 for the both of them. So I have hubs on all wheels. I've got wipers, a license plate, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, shifters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus six. And then for functional, I get minus two for a winch. I got a toe strap. I got D-ring. I got a sand ladder. Uh, I got a bungee. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So I don't know if I'm really supposed to add all this up. But right now, yeah. So 12. There's 21. 23. Um, so 35. Minus 35. They just had a, I thought it was the driver's meeting. It was the judge's meeting. And there was a bunch of talk about a bunch of rules. I'm kind of familiar with the rules. Um, but I'm glad there's a driver's meeting in about five, 10 minutes. So hopefully they kind of clear some of my questions. I'm not afraid to be a stupid person, at least afterward and go up and ask. Um, like I said, not too worried about winning. Uh, just want to do well enough to have fun. Um, get to the point by the end of the weekend that I'm comfortable and, uh, you know, next time kind of know how I need to practice, what I need to work on. Cause I honestly really, um, don't know right now. So, uh, truck made it through tech, no issues, but four class two courses open today. Um, I got to clear the air and figure out if I have to run all those today or if I can, um, get to some of them tomorrow. Um, because I would actually prefer to take the morning just to, shake some nerves out, um, see if I can get someone to, you know, just kind of walk me through, uh, winching and, um, more of like the communication. I got to get someone to winch stick for me and kind of spot for me. Probably the first thing I'm going to do is watch some people run class two and see what I can learn. Maybe take half an hour, an hour, and, uh, just kind of try to, you know, feel it out, learn as learn from observation, and then we'll learn from doing so. Uh, stay tuned. Um, and hopefully you guys kind of like this. Um, comps are a pretty intimidating thing. At least they were for me. So I kind of just bit the bullet and I want to put it out there for you guys. I was going to film tech, but, uh, I kind of just stumbled into it and didn't have my camera and it was, it was super easy. All right. Go to this driver's meeting. Good to go. You got sure. the time Good, Turn to the right as you're reversing. There you go. All right. Now, go slowly climb up. There you go now. Go that way. There you go. Now, 
try to climb right here because this is going to hung you up. So try to get some of these and you're right tired. But try not to hit the gate. Though. Yeah. All right. If only there was a money to find. Check it's a straight up shot. All right, now, watch that border come right here. Give it a whirl. Might as well try it. Progress three, four, forty-two. Jitters.
No, we don't care. I'm on any danger of winning. Doing the bonus, or are you? Nah, I'm gonna, this way. I'm gonna try to hit that last winch bonus if I got time. And gotcha. then this way. Now look, I want your back tire to end up on this rock right here, okay? Back driver? Yep. Mm -hmm. I want you to straddle it and back tire to end up on it. Still keep it there. Yeah, a little too much, but that's still gonna work. Don't hit anything. Now it's good. Come on. Come on. Very nice. All right, so look, you're going to go down somewhere on this rock right here because you've got to square up for this. You want the belly to go right through here if you can. Okay. Here. And I want you to keep rear driver, rear passenger on this rock right here. Right here. Right here. All right. And rear passenger. Rear passenger. I want you to keep it on that rock. Maybe right on the top if you can. Right, let's go. Yeah, keep trying. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I think it's still going to go. I just have oh, a, I you got the gate, gate. Yeah. so steer that way hard. I'll go up. Oh. Alright, keep going. You're good. You'll hit, you can hit it again. Yeah. Eight right. is. Alright, so now we're going to go here. You've got to screw this up. You've got to look at where you're going. But just stop time. Stop time. Stop time. Stop time. Oh, we're going to gate. we got a gate adjustment. <laughs> No, we don't want to just get. That's perfect. Watch your rear, watch your rear. Alright, there you go. Don't hit me. Alright, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Alright, hug the wall if you can. You can even use it up here a little bit if you can. Just gotta stay away. It's not gonna jump up there and hit it. Can you see the wet line that people drove down? Just like that. Alright, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Alright, you got it. Right. Yeah. 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 I haven't winched anything yet. Probably winching from there is probably good. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it out. Watch it out. Watch it out. Watch it it Don't hit the throttle again. <laughs> Don't worry about time. You just drop it. Yeah, just drop it. Yeah, that's good. So, first day, of first comp is in the books. Don't worry, I'm creeping along at about five miles an hour on the way out of uh, Cherokee Rock Village. Um, keep my eyes on the road. Um, first day went pretty well. We got four courses for class two. I ran three out of four, um, just kind of got in a bind and uh, lunch ran a little long and then the judges were running on lunch and um, basically just kind of ran out of time, but that's that's all right. There's tomorrow as well. Um, this weather's supposed to not be as good tomorrow, but um, I just got to run one course. So recap of, you know, the courses I did run, I ran, uh, what a lot of people have said was their hardest one first. I just kind of looked at them. It looked easy. It's one of the like flattest courses, but you know, uh, cone placement and um, boundary lines and things like that, um, you know, can kind of drive the uh, 
you know difficulty I guess up so um, had an issue <laughs> uh, right off the bat there were some pretty t weird little um, rocks that were like perfectly you know tire width apart kind of got bound up in those and um, ended up popping a steering my uh, steering link off the ball end uh, where it connects to the servo horn um, kind of hard to paint that picture but so just did a real quick um, touch you know on course repair and then uh, ended up happening again before I could even get to gate one so took an off course repair went and got a washer lost a minute um, ended up I think at gate six or so um, and then DNF just due to time uh, losing that minute definitely I don't know if I would have finished anyway um, I was kind of taking my sweet time but yeah um, good learning experience I kind of was a little gun shy after that <laughs> the judges were not yelling at me but they were kind of you know trying to push me along and uh, but a few of the guys there were really nice and kind of pulled me aside and just kind of gave me some pointers I ran the course um, after uh, you know not scored just to kind of get a full rep in and uh, it's crazy with no time going it seemed really easy but um, yep took a little bit of a break uh, you know made sure stuff was good to go um, definitely some steering geometry issues with the ground fox took a lot of the left steering out of it and just kind of know you know if I need to make a tight turn and I don't and I get to pick which way I'm gonna take a right turn instead of a left so it's just kind of something to keep in mind um, for the rest of the day and going into tomorrow um, just take a look at this though super pretty up here um, but um, yeah ran uh, the next two courses finished both of those um, with negative points I don't remember what my scores were honestly the one I finished with over a minute left I skipped a bonus gate um, should have tried it uh, winched on one first time ever actually using a winch um, you know with any real practicality um, no real issues there uh, kind of figured it out yeah ran those two courses everything went well really really good um, spotter winch stick guy for the third one I ran um, every time he told me you know put my tires here it just the truck just worked and did exactly what it was supposed to i think hyraxes were a good move a lot of guys are running tusks now too i don't know what compound overall it was fun the first course kind of discouraged was kind of discouraging um but you know bounced back ended up having a ton of fun i sat and i ran time uh they just the judges were kind of scattered they had some judges not show up and I ended up running the timer um, for probably 15 or 20 drivers through one course. Um, it kind of worked out to my advantage too because I ran after them. So I got to see it done over and over and over. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a ton of fun. Uh, for the most part, everyone's friendly. You know, definitely like a little standoffish at first. I'll say just because this is like kind of a core group that they pretty much all know each other so if you're kind of that outsider looking in um, I feel like it's pretty obvious that you're new uh, you know especially like going through tech they're like well that's like that's a shiny vehicle and very few Lexan bodies you know in class two you know basically impossible to point the truck out with a Lexan body so everyone's pointed out I said earlier end up with 35 points so pretty happy with that like I've said before, I, this wasn't about winning to me. It was about learning, having fun, getting some experience. Sorry, you guys just got probably a really bad angle of me. Um, pulling out onto more of a main road, so we're going to wrap this up real quick. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Do not film yourself and drive. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, this wasn't about winning to me. It was more about, you know, learning, having fun, getting some experience, getting some reps in, and uh, just kind of seeing if it's something I want to pursue. Um, servo, motor ESC, uh, drag brake, everything held really well. That truck side hills like a dream. A CG's really low. Uh, switching out those springs, it sits pretty much slammed. 
Um, but, you know, plenty of travel, thick fluid, especially for draft techs. Uh, some, some lessons to learn, you know, make sure stuff's dialed in. Definitely drive your truck more. Um, this will be in the wrap up video up at the end of this, whenever that is. But um, I will say the number one thing probably is if you can find somewhere that's running Sorca or Sorca Light, or they even better, you know, no rules, um, go comp with a truck you drive a lot. Even if it, you know it's not the most competitive, oh, it's a C channel chassis, go drive with it. Learn using something you're comfortable with. Like I said, one course tomorrow. I'm gonna film a bunch of other guys driving. Hopefully, not everyone's done tomorrow. Um, but worst case, I'm gonna be here Sunday. I will film the finals. You guys will get to see the best guys run. Yeah, I'm gonna sign off and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.